I've heard from a couple of folks recently that long tons are boring or monotonous. And I really don't get it. Let's play them. Hi, I'm Brian from Airflow Music. Welcome back to another video. This is the December 10th edition of our Go Practice series. I hope you're having a great day today. Like I said, there have been a couple of comments as I'm waiting for responses on the question from the other day about what is the perceived benefit for practicing our long tones. A couple of people referencing the fact that they're boring or monotonous. And this is, I guess this is superficially true unless you actually spend some time doing them. And this is something I learned when we did the 30 days of long tones a couple of years ago. And really for me, long tones have become a mindfulness practice. And one that's become really important to me, keeping my head together, particularly on busy days. So what I encourage you to do, particularly if you're of the opinion that long tones are boring, it's part of the reason that I like to use the metronome to help me count. But also, I deliberately keep these to a fixed set, so I'm doing something finite, okay? So that we get to the point where we know what's coming up, we know how long it's going to take, and I think that's important. It can be open-ended, the way a lot of people will explain to play long tones. That's why I like to keep them a certain length, follow a certain sequence of notes, that way I know when I'm coming towards the end. But my other recommendation is that while you're playing them, really count carefully for one. The metronome helps with that. I also subdivide the beat as I'm practicing them. So the metronome's going. I'm also thinking of the 16th note or semiquaver against that tempo. And then thirdly, I'm really listening to my sound. And in certain ways, trying to adjust it and improve things if things don't sound so good but also just being aware of what that is and seeing if I can feel out what is the thing that's causing that to be the case. Sometimes I can fix it, sometimes I can't. I think that's less important than observing what it really is. These are some things you can do to really take the monotony out of playing your long tones and play them more mindfully, which I think is important. And it's become a habit as much as anything else for me now and one that I've really come to enjoy. Anyway, short rant over, let's get into playing our tones for today. Right now we're still building them up, so this is going to be 20 second tones with a 15 second break in between. We're following the same pitch sequence as normal. If you don't have that pitch sequence yet and you're not familiar with what we've been doing, grab the original 30 Days of Long Tones PDF from the link in the description box below. It's a free download over on the Airflow Music Online store. Let's play these tones.
particularly on days like today, the mindfulness aspect of this is important for me. I've got a very busy day coming. I'm recording these in the morning, shortly after I've warmed up, before I have to go out and play what will end up being somewhere close to eight hours of kind of high energy lead trumpet. So it was really nice to find that moment of stillness and to be quiet and to do something slow because that is not going to happen for the rest of my day. So it was really good for me to find that kind of space for myself today. Anyway, that's what I have for you in this one. I hope you've enjoyed playing along with me and I hope I gave you something to think about if you were in the camp of the long times being boring. If you have enjoyed this, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll be back with another one tomorrow. Until then, thanks very much for watching and go practice.